So lesson number three dealt with building the first level of the game. Now we're going to work on levels two, three, and four. You just can't create all of them. Each level is going to build in the previous lesson, level. So level two is going to build on one, three is going to build on two, four is going to build on three. So we have to go in an order and it's very specific. So if we go take a look at our page here, creating additional levels. That's where we're gonna get started. And we're gonna work with level one from the backdrop and we're gonna duplicate it and then we're gonna go from there. So, get into the project here. I've got my final project opened up. I'm going to make sure I'm in stages, backdrops. I'm going to right click, duplicate. And we just made a duplicate of it, which is important. And you notice up here the costume name automatically changed from level one to level two. And that's what we want. And we want it to be named level two. So if you name this something other than level one, it's, it's, it can get confusing as you go on because all of my directions you need to make sure because specifically in the coding, it's gonna ask you to reference level one or level two or the ball spray. So you gotta keep consistent with what I have in the directions. We go down to step two. We're going to keep the exit point we're going to highlight everything else. So on level one, here's our starting point. Over here on the right is my exit point. We need to take that exit point and make it the entry point on level two. So I'm going to select the highlight key here. I'm going to highlight everything but a very small sliver on the right side. So you see everything's highlighted, but this very small sliver over here. I am then going to hit the delete key. And now I'm left with this sliver on the right side of my screen. Now it depends on where your game is at, but here's level one. My exit point is the only thing I have left. I'm going to use the highlight key again, highlight it, and I'm going to move it over to the left side. Now, I click, hold down, and drag, but I have to do one other thing. Use my shift key. Right now, if I move it, it's sort of free, and I could offset it, and I don't want it to be pushed up or down. I want it to be perfectly across. So I want it same plane, so I'm gonna right click, I'm sorry, I'm gonna shift key, move it across the screen, and then let go. So now this is now my entry point. So as I leave level one, I enter in on the opposite side for level two. Now I'm gonna go through and I'm going to build this based on my design that I had came up with. So I'm gonna select the line tool and I'm gonna start drawing here and uh-oh, what happened? Oh, I didn't change the fill color. I don't know why, but the fill color resets almost every time you move out of the layer, uh, especially when you create a new layer. So we need to click on fill. I forgot what color I wrote down on my piece of paper. Click the eyedropper tool or the paint picker, color picker. I'm gonna click, you see how here it's off. And oh look, as soon as I highlight that blue, the whole thing shades. And look, 52, 100, 100. Oh, I did write it down on my paper. That's what I'm using for my color scheme. So now I have my line tool. I'm going to draw out. Now, people draw this out in different paths. Uh, some of you might not remember what mine looked like. But we'll put this on paper. Mr. Miller, you got lines going all over the place. Yeah, just trust me. So I'm gonna go up here like this. I like to draw lines, straight, long lines. That way I know stuff is lined up from one side to another. And... All right, That's, that looks weird. And that's okay. There's different ways to do this. 
additive and subtractive. So I added a whole bunch of lines. Now I'm going to subtract stuff out. I'm going to go with my uh, first going to add paint bucket into here, here, here. And that's sort of looking like what I had. Grab the eraser tool. I'm going to go and erase this. Mess with that. I'm going to erase out here. So I got it close. Problem is my ball can't get up through here and into this. So I'm going to select the highlight tool. I'm going to draw a box straight up and hit delete. Oh look, the ball can get up here. Let's clean that up. Let's make that look a little bit nicer there. I'm going to drag out a box right here. Delete that out. I'm going to get rid of this box right here, delete that out. All right, so now it looks better. My ball can move the whole way through and get into all the nooks and crannies. So this is level two for me. Now, in order to keep on going, we go back to our directions here. So I got all the way down through here. So that looks pretty much like my level two that I had, okay? Now I need to keep on repeating the steps of duplicate, slide it over, build the maze part. So I'm going to do this with fast motion. I'm going to go through and complete levels two and three, hopefully in speed. Uh, so hang tight and I'll show you the rest after this. All right. All right, so now I just completed my fourth level here. So I have level one, two, three, four. Each one of them builds on the previous. If I scroll down to the bottom here, I can, I stitch these together just so you have a sample here. This is my level one, two, three, four. You notice I start, move through, move to the next level, can move into the nooks. Uh, move into the next level. Maybe I have something over here. Uh, I'm going to go. I can pick up something. Here's my finish point. I can move into the next room. Now remember, this did not involve working with the rooms or the hidden rooms yet. We're simply getting done levels two, three, and four. So once you complete lessons three, four, uh, two, three, and four, once you complete lessons two, three, and four, you're going to submit them. Game check two, main character and levels. Submit lessons two, three, and four. Submit a screenshot of your game so far. One screenshot. One screenshot is all you need. It should have on the main character of the ball, and it should have the four levels under the background tab. This is all I'm asking for. Take a snippet tool, the snipping tool, or the screen capture tool. Take a picture of this and then submit it, click on this assignment and submit it, and I'll check it off that you did it and it'll be worth points. So this is what you're working on, four levels, and uh, this completes lesson number four. Good luck.